If someone wants to start eating better, they haven't eaten well for much of their lives and they want to change, how do they start? Because that can be kind of overwhelming and, and most people, again, we talk about sustaining it, can't just start on a Monday and say, okay, Monday it starts. I mean, w that probably wouldn't work for most people. Well, this, you know, my experience over the last um, 25 years has been that people become more informed and educated and have a higher rate of success. So I tell people, don't make a decision about what you're going to eat. First, finish reading the book. You know, read my end of dieting book. The whole gear, idea of end of dieting is to show people that they're not doing this for a diet, they're doing this for an eating style for the rest of their life. When you're properly informed, your chance of success is going to be so much greater. And then what is this? This is not, what I'm telling people, eat a big salad every day for lunch. Do it every day for the rest of your life because there's tremendous protective effects on your life. And I'm telling people on the weekend, make a big pot of vegetable bean soup. Make a real giant pot of healthy bean soup. Put the whole giant pot into the top shelf of your refrigerator on Sunday night to cool off. On Monday morning, you can take it out into 10 different containers and you can pack it up to take a container of vegetable bean soup or chili or stew with you to work every day with a big salad and a piece of fruit. And you've got your lunch made for the whole week. It's not hard to do. Lunch is the most important meal of the day. You're out of the house. You're tempted to have other, there's other foods around you in the environment. Take your lunch with you. Breakfast and dinner should be light. Lunch should be the big meal. You eat the big meal with lots of healthy food. Breakfast is easy anyway. You have some, you know, steel cut oats with flax seeds and berries. You have, it's easy to make a healthy breakfast. Not a big deal. You got your breakfast and lunch together. Eat a light dinner. It's not that hard to do this. And your taste buds change and with so many delicious recipes. You know, on my website, drfroman.com, not to be self-promoting, but on my website I have 1,500 recipes rated by members with stars and how much they like. And, you know, I've produced um, numerous cookbooks. The point is, is that there's recipes for almost every person's taste that they're going to like. Sure, there's some effort involved. You can't just go and pick it up at a drive through right. But anything in life that gives you tremendous reward has some effort involved with it. Mm -hmm. What good is if there's no effort? What self-satisfaction do you get from having no effort involved? You know, yeah. it's like being left to $10 million by your parent when they die, as opposed to you earning it yourself. Right? And, any, and, and the things that you've earned yourself in life, the things that, that's what sticks with you when you earn your health. You're going to really appreciate it. And you, and you, you know, so the point is, is that you don't get a college education with no effort. Why are people looking for things with no effort? Why are they thinking that you could just come looking for a magic pill we're going to take and it's going to solve all our problems? They're looking for magic. They're looking for a fad, a gimmick, a trick, or a hook. This isn't any, and, and these things go, come in and go out of style, right? They come in and they're gone tomorrow. This is never going to, this is not here today, gone tomorrow. This is that, this is nutritional science, solid nutritional science supported by long-term study following people over decades looking at hard endpoints of death, knowing that we can extend human lifespan and prevent the chronic illnesses that kill most Americans, and we have the information to do that right now. It's not that hard to do, and it tastes really good.